Hello again. I promised I would make some videos about my resources. Um, this video I'm going to talk about my physical resources, i.e. books. I've, if you want to look up the reason for the cutting there, is because I thought it would be a great idea to try and show my show all my books in one shelf thing, but um, my laptop refused to move. Uh, high enough and I ended up just getting a shot of my DVDs which are on the right hand side over there. So I'll have to take them down individually. Right. First, uh, let's go for Icelandic. Uh, here are five of the six books that I have devoted to Icelandic. Um, two of them, as you can see, and the third one which seems to disappear somewhere, are property of the uh, Glasgow University Library which has a surprisingly good amount of books partially well may actually mainly because um they they like the sagas uh, as do a lot of historians and historical literature readers and people like that so they've got entire massive shelf units uh, just full of the sagas um right the first book i got by Icelandic um I've, okay, I'm actually I'm, now i'm going to go in order the proper first book or something that I got from Icelandic is this Learn Icelandic. Uh, it was put to me by my dad, so I'm, I'm not going to be ungrateful here, but it, it's not particularly good. It's good for if you want to pick up a very small amount of vocabulary, and I must admit, I don't actually know all the vocabulary in this. They've got animals which I don't know. Uh, I don't know many of them yet, unfortunately. Um, but if you want to know anything past just the simple, like, whatever masculine forms, uh, masculine and singular forms of the of the of the verbs in nominative case, then you don't then you don't then you don't really want this uh, because this goes only there. It also costs. Well, I'm not sure, but I think they cost about um, six pounds at least. I suppose it's fairly cheap, but it's yeah, it's not particularly useful. Um, the first one I got properly uh, was this colloquial Icelandic book by uh, Daisy Naiman. I've been told a lot of people don't seem to like the clo colloquial Iceland the colloquial series, um, partially because or mainly because it, it aims to teach you colloquial uh, language, and for something like Finnish, uh, that would be uh, well, that would be that would be putting you in a bad step because. There are many dialects of Finnish, and to teach you a colloquial standard of something would no, no, it, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't go so well. But I, I quite enjoy this book. I, at first, I was at first, especially when compared to this this book, which I'll go through in, in a minute, um, I was a bit skeptical um, because it basically seems to um, it doesn't explain the grammar terms extremely well, which I think I think I prefer I think I prefer just um, just to how the grammar terms explained to me extreme, um, like extremely well, um, precisely. But um, after I, I know, I suppose I'm, I'm about 100 pages through this now. Uh, I think going properly, I'm, I've, I've have read over the whole book uh, a couple of times, but I haven't gone properly. Um, and it's certainly got a lot, and it's certainly got a lot of uh, vocabulary. Um, it's a lot of interesting um, phrases and ways of forming sentences. Um, and for what it costs and for its apparent size, it contains a lot of information. So I highly recommend this. There aren't many of them. Uh, there aren't many books on Icelandic uh, by major publishers, and this is one of them. Uh, I would recommend it. Um, I probably would have got the Teach Yourself Icelandic book, but I was told that it wasn't particularly good. Um, and after getting that and this, I decided against it. This book is fantastic. Uh, I, the, the flaw is that it's too short. It finishes. Um, it, doesn't, it actually explains at the beginning um, with much regret. It says that it doesn't actually touch upon the past tense, which is a bit awkward. However, I just found out the past tense isn't actually that difficult to form. Um, but what I find good about this is, um, well, I might turn to um, a page on the grammar. It's just, it has an extremely good grammar summary, um, which has very, very clear charts, much, much clearer than the one in Colloquial Icelandic. 
Um, it has four declensions. Unfortunately, of course, those don't go too far. I don't know if you can see that, you probably can't, but it's just got nice, nice lot of tables. Um, the uh, the conversations that it puts it, it puts forward um, kind of go in a kind of story style, which is I find nice to read. Um, uh, the CDs that come with it, uh, CDs that come with colloquial Icelandic, they're good. But uh, CDs that come with this, I think, are better because they contain much less English, and they focus more on the dialogues, and the dialogues are much fuller. Um, they, yes, basically, it's it's much more uh, it's much more explanatory. It's got less vocabulary, but I think that can be picked up a lot through just dictionary word lists. Um, one thing it does is it explains the different types of greetings to many people and one person at the start, which confused me for a while because uh, the other one doesn't do that. Um, so yes, so that book is extremely good. I would recommend it. Um, I would recommend it getting 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 it quite cheaply from somewhere because, as I say, it's not particularly large. It stops it stops just as it's really getting into the tenses and really going. We're going to go for this. It kind of stops and goes. Well, we've run out of paper. Um, this book is highly recommended. Uh, I've seen it recommended by many people. It's surprisingly cheap considering it's like, it's like 600 pages. No, sorry, 500 pages. Um, it's, uh, you might think it's archaic because it's written uh, some, some while ago. Um, but Icelandic is a very conservative language, so their language doesn't really change much over the time. Um, which is great. It's basically a grammar with lots and lots and lots of um, of passages to read, lots and lots of exercises associated with the passages. But the exercises are focused mainly upon making you write something, as opposed to um, as opposed to just making you write like a sentence. It makes you take phrases from what you've just read, uh, reform them, and write um, and basically translate from the Eng from another English passage into into Icelandic, which I find particularly good. I haven't gone far through this at all. I was kind of intimidated by its size at first, but um, but from what I've done, it's been extremely useful, uh, and I'll definitely read this more. Let's have a look at at this this book. Um, well, this is uh, this is uh, uh, Nia Soya, which is uh, I think that I think that actually just means the new sagas. Um, and basically, a modern it seems to be a modern translation of uh, of the sagas into modern into modern Icelandic, because obviously the difference between like 1100 AD uh, Icelandic and now is obvious. Um, so here they are. Uh, it's it, it's it's good. I haven't started reading it properly. I've read the first paragraph and I've understood it fairly well, but um, I will try and get through that by the, well, certainly by like next January, I suppose, I'll try and, try and read that. Um, I've also got another book quite similar to that, it's um, by, an, by an author, I don't know, um, which I will also go through, uh, but I can't find that, I've lost it somewhere. Uh, this book is uh, Primary of Modern Icelandic, it's a bit of a lie uh, now, because um, this was actually older than the grammar book I just explained about. Um, so it doesn't contain uh, the J, which is the E with um, with an accent above it. It uses J, which confused me at first. Um, some of the and basically it doesn't have that accent for most in most cases, uh, which is um, a bit confusing. But uh, apart from that, it's um, it's good. It's got lots and lots and lots of uh, lists of words and lots and lots of grammar explanations. It's basically like a a pre uh, well, a pre-modern uh, version of uh, one of these beginners or teach yourself or colloquial. Um, so yes, that's basically all I've got uh, in terms of books for Icelandic. Uh, I will eat into the rest of the books um, that the University of Glasgow offers in my next three years. I'm excited.